Okay, here's another polar problem. Again, with the calculator, they've given you the graph. This is the graph of r equals 3. This is the graph of the Limassan with the lima bean shape bumping out. Okay, and they tell you that this angle is pi over 6, and this angle is 5 pi over 6. And remember, with the polar graphs, you want to think about these angles coming out and doing pi slices. Um, S is that shaded region. I want you to find the area of that S. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the area of all of this and then just double my answer to go ahead and do it by symmetry. Okay, first of all, notice this piece is just a quarter circle. So I can do this geometrically. You can set up an integral if you want. If you want, you can integrate from, zero, um, um, from here to here. So you can actually integrate from 0 to pi half because it's the same as this region. Or just do quarter circle would be pi r squared divided by 4. So the radius of this circle is 3 squared. I'm sorry, the radius is 3. So this would be the quarter circle. And I want to make sure I'm going to multiply everything by 2 because I'm going to just do this portion and do it by symmetry. Now, notice that when I draw at this angle, okay, I'm going to outline the circle in this color green here. Notice this region of the pi slice is only bounded by the green. So from 0 to pi 6, you're only going to integrate the green, which is your circle. But then notice this piece from pi 6 to this angle, which is actually going to be pi halves. Notice it's only bounded by the limousine. So I need one integral for this piece here, another integral for this piece here. So your two pieces are from... And don't forget, your area of a polar has is 1 half r squared, so 1 half. But I'm going to do it by symmetry, so that's why the 2 is there. From 0 to pi 6, the only graph that's being bounded by is the green, which is a circle, so r squared. d theta plus, I'm going to do this region right here. This is pi 6, this is pi halves, and you can check it on the calculator if you're not sure. But the Lehman sign goes from 0 to 2 pi, 1 half from pi 6 to pi half of the lima sun to sine theta squared d theta. So this is my entire setup and punched it all on your calculator. I get 24.708 okay. Part B tells you a particle moves along the curve so that time t theta is the same as t squared. Find the time at which the x coordinate is negative 1. Again, they're talking about theta and x's. The only equation you can work with is the conversion, x equals r cosine theta. They want you to find the value of t. Well, they tell you theta is t squared, so I'm going to do all my substitution. x is negative 1. r is, they tell you they're talking about the limousin, so 4 minus 2 sine theta, cosine theta. But if I solve this, I'll get theta. I'm going to go ahead and replace theta with t squared. Okay, type this in your calculator, y1, y2, intersection, t equals 1.4279. Okay, part C, find the position vector in terms of t. So you should be thinking, I need an x and I need a y. Okay, your position vector, again, you're going to use the conversion equation. x equals r cosine theta, x equals 4 minus 2 sine theta times cosine theta. They want this in terms of t, so the only variable I should see here is t. Replace the theta with t squared. Okay, there is your x position vector. Do the same thing for y. y equals r sine theta. Replace the r with 4 minus 2 sine theta. Sine theta. Replace the theta with t squared. There's my... So these two pieces make up your position vector, your x component and your y component. And then they ask you to find the velocity vector at 1.5. So your velocity vector at 1.5, you're going to do with the calculator. It should just be the derivative of this. So type this in your calculator in y1. Have the calculator figure out the derivative of this and plug in 1.5 for that variable t. And I get negative 8.0721. 8 you're going to do the same thing with the y component. Nine, three.